So I just picked up these new wheels and tires. Um, I woke up at two o'clock this morning, drove all the way down to uh, almost Boise, Idaho. I'm up in Spokane and I uh, picked up these set of uh, 37 Nittos on some gear alloy 20s. Uh, they're kind of like a method uh, knockoff look with the bronze uh, 37s. Right now it's got the stocks underneath. I sold the hostile wheels, which were only 35s. Um, I would like to re-gear the truck soon, but I just wanted to give everybody a, a quick look at and see what it's going to look like before I actually install them. I'll clean up the wheels and tires. So they're not bad. They were pretty much new. The guy had them on a Ram. He said he ran them for about a month and then changed his wheel and tire setup. So full tread. Um, I had him install sensors. He did uh, own his own shop. So they're pretty nice looking wheel. Wheel and tire combo should fill out the truck real nice. Um, it's only leveled right now in the front. Uh, I've never had 37s before, but I believe I am trimmed enough down in here to accommodate the 37s. The pinch weld is um, grinded back a little bit. And I did cut the uh, fender the other day, inner fender liner, just a little bit more. And then just for fun, I went ahead and did the wife's vehicle mock-up. I don't think you could ever put 37s on a 4Runner, but if you could, this is what it would look like. Maybe a couple more inches up in the air. I got the wheels and tires on last night. I showed a little time lapse just a moment ago, um, but I wanted to show you guys uh, what it looks like all done and in the sun. And so 37s, uh, 12, five, 20s. This is how they look. This is a 20 inch wheel with a 18 plus offset, but I really like how this turned out. Now, the trimming that I've already done seemed to work pretty good, but I just went to Lowe's, turned up into the parking lot, and I did hear a little bit of rubbing, so I do need to figure out what is going on there. But man, it, uh, it really looks good now with the 37s. I'm going for that off-road look. Here at Dirty Truck Performance, we're building trucks for off-road, dirt roads. We're not building clean, nice builds and mall crawlers. So there's my cut that I already had, this pinch weld. This is, the pinch weld is right down in here. That's been trimmed back and grinded down all the way up to about that point there. I still need to take this and, and make it a 45 just to smooth it out, just in case that's where it rubs. On the front end, the bottom few inches of the inner fender has been trimmed. Let's see here, up. 
and uh, I just have the puck in the front. Um, I did five, find a five inch lift on Marketplace that I'm gonna probably end up buying and put on this truck. But man, it, it turned out a lot better. Um, my programmer, I was able to program the speedometer already. So I have the MM3 tuner. And with that, that allows me to change the wheel tire size so that my speedometer is correct. Um, I need to do some driving around more to see how the gearing feels. Uh, just driving in town, everything seemed to shift smoothly. Now I did get the uh, backflip hard tonneau cover. I just picked that up on Marketplace the other day. It's got a few scratches on it or whatever, but that doesn't bother me at all. It's, uh, it's gonna be a work truck, it's what it's used for. And as you can see, the taillights got tinted. My wife and I tinted our taillights the other day. I did uh, four, almost five coats, it's pretty dark. So I might get some better LED bulbs. There are LED bulbs in it now, but it's just not bright enough. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but the bulbs, they make the kind where the end of the bulb is like a flashlight end. And I'm gonna try to get that just to brighten it up when the lights are working. Now we washed and waxed this truck the other day. I put two coats of sealer and a coat of wax. But uh, as you can see, there's dust all over it. But my whole motto is, this is dirty truck performance. I don't care if the truck gets dirty. I will never apologize to you guys and say sorry that my truck's dirty because that's, uh, that's not what this truck is for. This truck is made to be off-road. I live on a dirt road. It's always going to be dirty. And so this video or this uh, channel is going to show you guys what it's like when, you know, you live on a dirt road and you can't have a mall crawler that's clean all the time. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to show a little uh, walk around with the truck, tell you guys what I feel about the wheels and tires. I love them. I've always wanted a truck like this. It looks so much better this way. And um, get ready for some more videos. We're going to do some bed lining of the bumpers and such and do some work on the wife's car. Thanks, guys. Uh, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more.